Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. As promised, I'm bringing you the overclocking review with the MSI Z97X Power AC. If you came here to explore the features of this motherboard, then you're watching the wrong video. To find out more on the features, first make sure to watch my full detailed review of that MSI Z97X Power AC motherboard. Today we'll just concentrate on the overclocking part only with this board. Thanks a lot MSI for sending me this motherboard to review. First, let me tell you, install is an Intel Core i7 4770K CPU that we're going to overclock today. And as for the graphics card, installed is the MSI GeForce GTX 770 Lightning. Not really relevant here, but it looks pretty awesome in combination with this board with that black and yellow color scheme. With the i7-4770K at stock, enhanced turbo disabled, CPU-Z shows as a core voltage of 1.088 volts on full load. As a quick performance measurement, we'll be using Cinebench R11.5. At stock I get 8.18 points here. Before we start overclocking though, there are two different OC methods here. You could go the old school way by simply going into the BIOS and dialing in the values, or use overclocking software. MSI in fact offers such called MSI Command Center. It's a great piece of software, very good user interface and easy to understand, even for beginners. I've tried overclocking with the Command Center and can confirm it works very well. However, as you might know, I'm more the old school guy and therefore prefer the good old BIOS overclocking. So let's get started. First I'll try to squeeze out the maximum of my Intel i7-4770K. It'll for sure run fairly hot, that's why I'm cooling it down with the Corsair H105 water cooler. Yes, there definitely are better cooling solutions out there, but I need something that's compact and easy to swap out any moment. I'm not going to do extreme stuff here. That's why I'll stick with one of the simplest overclocking methods. All I'm going to touch is the CPU multiplier and the CPU core voltage. The maximum I can squeeze out of this 4770K is stable 4.6 GHz. Well, I could do more, but I don't like going over 1.3 volts, although I'm already over my personal limit anyways. In the BIOS I dialed in 1.29 volts here, which results in 1.312 volts in CPU-Z. However, my feeling says I need a little more voltage for 24-7 stability. Therefore, I'll go for 1.312 volts here that are 1.328 in CPU-Z. I never managed to get 4.6 GHz stable with my own 4770K, but with this board that's obviously possible. In Cinebench, at that clock speed, the chip scores 10.11 points. Pretty good. However, I'm not feeling that good with having over 1.3 volts on my CPU, therefore we'll go a little lower now, and I'm speaking of 4.5 GHz. With the MSI Z97 Gaming 7, I managed to get the same exact 4770K chip stable at 4.5 GHz with 1.264 volts in CPU-Z. Let's see if we can beat that record and go lower on the V-Core at the same clock speed. I'm not just overclocking for numbers, but also focus on stability. 45 ratio and let's try out 1.245 volts here. That are 1.264 volts in CPU-Z. Obviously we're stable. What about 1.235 volts? 1.256 in CPU-Z. Stable as well, nice so far. How about 1.220 volts dialed into the bias? That are 1.240 volts in CPU-Z. That's really low already for 4.5 GHz, yet we're stable. At 4.5 GHz and a core voltage of 1.24 volts in CPU-Z, my i7-4770K gets 9.90 points in Cinebench. Really not bad at all. Right here a quick chart for you on the performance improvement. Quite an improvement I'd say. Can we go any lower on the voltage though? 1.215 volts in a bias and 1.2... nope, not stable at all. Alright, so the final lowest stable V-Core at 4.5 GHz on this i7-4770K is 1.240 volts measured in CPU-Z. That's remarkable for my pretty bad 4770K. Mine runs fairly hot since the beginning and isn't really an overclocking beast. But hey, that's the silicon lottery. Some chips overclock better, some even worse than mine. 
By the way, for the sake of this video, I already pre-tested all these overclocks earlier before and ran several hours of stress tests to ensure stability. And I then just used the Cinebench benchmarking tool to verify that, but also the ADA64 stress testing tool. In the end, I'm very happy with these overclocking results and it was a lot of fun to overclock with this MSI Z97X Power AC motherboard. You could probably do some fine tuning to optimize the overclock, but I was in a bit of a rush and besides, I always like showing overclocks everyone could achieve. That's a dead simple overclocking method. As I've already said in my full review of this board, I can definitely, definitely recommend this MSI Z97X Power AC motherboard. Truly a beast of a motherboard, not only in the overclocking aspect. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas 11 x 12 techxcom to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.